Do you know the difference between a Siamese cable and a composite cable? Or what each is specifically used for? Keep watching to find out about these types of cables and more. Hi, I'm Jorge Ramirez with Safe and Sound Security, the place where professionals turn for security system information and solutions. Today, we're gonna to talk about the different cable options for security systems. Whether you're looking at cabling for access control or security cameras, each security system has their own cabling requirements. It can sometimes be confusing knowing which type of cable does what. More importantly, understanding what cables do you need to make sure your system is running at its best. We've put together a list of the most common cables used for security systems to give you a snapshot of what you need to know. To get started, I'm going to go over the two categories of cables used for security systems. If you're looking to set up a security system, whether with CCTV or access control, you'll need to know what kind of cables the system calls for. Using the proper cables for security systems and understanding how they work together ensures your system runs smoothly and won't become damaged from improper equipment. When it comes to connecting your security cameras, video is transmitted through some type of cable. For now, we'll split security cable types into two categories, CCTV cables and cables meant for access control. Each type of cable has a specific purpose to ensure your security system operates effectively. Let's start by talking about CCTV cables. CCTV or closed circuit television is the use of video cameras to transmit a signal to a specific place. CCTV is primarily used in video surveillance and requires cables that enhance video quality. Cables are integral to the operation of a CCTV system, carrying the video signal from the camera to the DVR slash NVR, as well as the power. There are several different kinds of cables used in CCTV systems, and today I'm going to highlight five types that are the most widely used in the industry today. One of the most common and well-known CCTV cables is the coaxial or coax cable, usually seen on older systems. Coaxial cables are built from wire or fiber that has been twisted with insulated wire braids around it. They are very tough and durable and can endure plenty of use and wear. Coaxial cables can carry video signals over long distances without losing quality and are well insulated. Coaxial cables are also used as a part of some of the other types of CCTV cables. Video power cables are designed specifically for CCTV systems, using both a coaxial cable, usually with a BNC connector, to transmit video signal from the camera to the DVR, and a separate cable carrying DC power from the power supply. Simple and easy to use, they're relatively inexpensive compared to other cabling options. However, the quality of the video signal is not as good as digital cable options and cannot be transmitted as far over BNC cables. While some CCTV cables may have similar features, each type has a specific function and purpose, like the Siamese cable, one of the most versatile CCTV cables. Siamese cables consist of two different cables fused together, usually a coaxial cable carrying video and a power cable. The video cable carries your video signal from the camera to your DVR, while the power cable supplies the power needed to run your security cameras. Siamese cables work with virtually any analog security camera, provided they are the proper gauge necessary for powering the camera system. The smaller the gauge, the thicker the wire, and the more power it can carry. Siamese cables are very versatile and make setting up video systems simple as they use only one cable to run both power and video. They're also well insulated against interference. Another popular choice, especially for IP camera systems, are Cat5 Ethernet Cat5e cables. Cat5e cables are an upgraded version of the Cat5 or Ethernet cables, made specifically for use with CCTV systems. They carry video feeds rapidly up to 1000 megabits per second over long distances, as much as 3000 feet, while maintaining the integrity and quality of the feed. Cat5e cables are designed for use with digital video and IP systems and will not work with an analog system without a proper converter, which is easy to find and install. They are also capable of providing power over Ethernet, PoE, which eliminates the need for a second power cable. If your camera doesn't have an option for PoE, there are converters available that will make that possible. The last type of CCTV cable I'm going to talk about today is the CAT6 cable. 
Think of the CAT6 cable like the older, cooler brother of the CAT5e. CAT6 cables are similar to CAT5e cables, but upgraded for faster performance. They supply PoE and are capable of data speeds of over 250 MHz for IP camera systems. They are also backwards compatible with CAT5e ports, so they are able to work with more systems. Each type of cable is used for a different purpose, and you will hear all of these cable names in conversations about security systems. Just like with your surveillance system, there are several types of cable options for access control systems. The first type of access control cable, and one that really does it all, the composite cable. Composite cables combine four basic functions of access control, power, card reader, door contact, and request to exit into one simple cable. Composite cables usually consist of four separate cables combined and twisted into one insulated cord. This makes installation maintenance and operation easy, as there is no need to run separate wires throughout the wall. While they don't do it all, twisted pair cables are also very popular because they are one of the lower cost types of access control cables. One basic option for powering access control cameras are 18-2 gauge twisted pair cables, which provide low voltage power to the access reader system at a low cost. Twisted cables come in different gauges and pairings as well. 18-2 means 18 gauges with two conductors, while 18-6 means 18 gauge and six conductors. And 22-4 is a 22 gauge wire with four conductors for larger systems that require more power. Twisted pair cables have the benefit of being able to run long distances without loss of power or quality, and being much less expensive than other types of cables. And if you're wanting to simplify and just use the same cables as you do for your CCTV system, you can use basic network cables. Access control systems can also be powered by network cables, like CAT5e and CAT6 cables, just as CCTV systems can. CAT6 cables are backwards compatible with CAT5e ports and both can supply PoE as well as run data for IP-based access control systems. CAT6 cables are capable of performance up to 250 MHz, while CAT5e can reach 100 MHz. The downside to network cables is that they are not always capable of running the long distances that other cables can, such as an 18-2 twisted cable. Now, if you're not dreaming of cables tonight, I didn't do my job. But seriously, between the different types of CCTV and access control cables, there are so many options that are a big part of why our security systems are able to operate so well. And now that you know a little more about these cables, you will find yourself more well-versed when making decisions about what's best for your security system. If you like this video and it helped you learn more about different cable options for security systems, make sure to like the video and click the subscribe button below. If you'd like to browse some of our written content, or have a security project you'd like to talk to us about, head over to GetSavingSound.com. And now, I'd like to turn it over to you. Do you have any comments or questions about CCTV cables or access control cables for security systems? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.